Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforay.com. We are in the midst of COVID-19 lockdown. So please stay at home, stay safe and save lives. If you have any questions regarding COVID-19, please click on the link that is given in the description that is of WHO's official website. So moving to the topic, how to calculate the number of phosphodiester bond in a DNA molecule. So let's begin with the problem. How many phosphodiester bonds are present in the following DNA molecule? So this is the sequence given. The options are 6, 11, 12 and 10. First step in finding out the number of phosphodiester bond is to find out the number of base pairs. Suppose number of base pairs in DNA molecule is n. Here the number of base pairs is 6. As you can see C and G makes one base pair. T and A that is second base pair. AT third base pair GC like that we have six base pairs. So using a simple equation number of phosphodiester bonds in a DNA molecule is equal to 2n minus 2 where n is the number of base pairs. So let us substitute the values 2 into 6 n is number of base pairs minus 2 then 12 minus 2 the answer is 10. Now how we derive this equation? So this is a DNA molecule as you can see. Let's take this region. Suppose there is a DNA molecule with three base pairs. How many phosphodiester bonds are present? Let us zoom in this region. So this is a zoomed in version. We have three base pairs. So as you can see in the first strand, the number of phosphodiester bond is, this is the first phosphodiester bond. You can see this is a CO bond. This is the second CO bond that is called as the phosphodiester bond that connects two nucleotides. We have given a video on phosphodiester bond and its formation. You can refer that for more information. Then this is a second phosphodiester bond. So in a single strand, there is two phosphodiester bond. Then in the second strand also, you can see this runs in 5 prime, 3 prime direction and the parallel strand. Here also there is two phosphodiester bond. Therefore, the number of phosphodiester bond in first strand is n minus 1. n is the number of base pairs. Number of base pairs here it is 3. Therefore, 3 minus 1 that is 2. Number of phosphodiester bond in second strand also n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 that is 2. Therefore, for two strands, that is for double-stranded DNA molecule, for a DNA molecule, it will be 2 into n minus 1, that is 2n minus 2. So this is how this equation is derived. Let us substitute the values in this equation. Three base pairs, therefore 2 into 3 minus 2, that is 6 minus 2, the answer is 4, where n is the number of base pairs. Hope you followed this derivation. Now moving into one more question. How many phosphodiester bonds are present in a DNA with 50 base pairs? The options are 100, 99, 298. Using the same formula, we can find out the answer very easily. F first find out the number of base pairs. It's given 50 base pairs. Number of base pairs is 50. Then apply that in the formula that is 2n minus 2. That is 2 into 50 minus 2 that is 100 minus 2, 98 is the answer. Then one more question in a different way. In a DNA molecule, the number of phosphodiester bonds are 1200. Find the number of base pairs. So these are common questions in many competitive exams of biology in different contexts or in different style. So the options are 600, 601, 602 and 1199 then let's find out this answer using the same equation. So here the answer is as number of base pairs in DNA is n. So in this question number of base pairs is a question. Therefore using that equation number of phosphodiester bond in a DNA molecule is equal to 2n minus 2. Therefore we have it is given that 2n minus 2 is 1200. Therefore, 2n is equal to 1200 plus 2, that makes 1202, then n is equal to 1202 by 2, that gives 601. 601 is the correct answer. So, applying this formula, 
we can answer any questions in this format or in the previous format using this and finally last question how many phosphodiester bonds are present in a single stranded dna with 50 bases so i just added this question you will be knowing it for a single strand it will be n minus 1 therefore the answer is 49 hope you are fine with these type of questions thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforry.com